Hey, we're Chris and Nicole, and this is our Sprinter 174 by 4 that we're converting into a tiny home on wheels. Now that we have the van insulated, it's time to start making it look like our home. Good morning! It's a beautiful day and no jackets out, so the weather's looking warm. Spring has finally arrived here in Ontario, and we could not be more excited about it. Yeah. This week's a big week for us. The van is spray foamed, and it's green! Yeah, it's lime green, and... This week, the big things that we want to get done are the ceiling, the maybe the floors. And the walls. And the walls. So it's going to be a big week aesthetically. Um, the van's going to no longer be green by the end of the week, we hope. And it's the van, it's going to start looking like a van. Yeah, that'll be exciting. Like, it'll really look like, it'll other than not having anything in here, it's going to look like a finished product. I but, know. So we're going to get started on the ceiling. We're not going to uh, waste any time. We're going to be out here all day. So we can't wait to take you along this week for the ride. Home Depot for a, another run today. We are picking up plywood for the garage and the kitchen to use as a support system. We are also picking up paint, flooring, and the rest of the quarter inch pine that we are using on the walls. Success. Yeah. What is expensive? Eight hundred bucks. So we learned something. This tongue and groove is so tight that the paint that we put on the groove is um, is makes it too tight to push them together. So my entire day of painting. So we can put the unfinished stuff on, which is what the package says you can do, um, and then just paint the underside. Um, we'll probably, we'll save all the stuff that we painted, and then afterwards we can always sand off the grooves if we can, but it's pretty delicate, it's pretty flimsy stuff because it's so thin, but, um, so we're gonna start with the unfinished and get the ceiling done, and then Nicole's gonna paint, and we'll try doing it that way. And at least we know that they click in really easily together when there's no paint on them. You mean we're gonna paint, right? I'm gonna go up on the roof and work on the uh, <laughs> on the thing here, the wires. So. You just uh, don't want to paint. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're doing. I should probably also be wearing safety glasses. Hey. Safety first. And you're gonna put a nail gun through somebody. The big problem is where's my safety glasses? Oh my god, they're right there. <laughs> I'm definitely Do we need to take a break? Safety third. And we're gonna get you a shirt like that. <laughs> Try number two with a bigger hole saw. Bigger hole saw. Not, Not the right hole saw saw bit. We lost you yesterday. Our neighbors came over with some beers and the progress stopped and we sat outside and had a few beers for the rest of the night. And that's okay. We actually really enjoyed the break. So, Chris is already out, it's only 8.30. Chris is already out, working hard on the van, and we are going to get that ceiling up today. And you've got a pep in your step today. <laughs> Yay! First piece of trim. This is nice. Though. It looks really good. It's really good. Wow. Got our next piece of trim. This is the Nomadic Cooling Faceplate. That's gonna be for our air conditioner. And it's gonna fit right around. Mm. Um, I made a little bit of an error. We got a gappy. Yeah. 
I think I measured I measured to here this oh. wood piece and not to the edge there. Hmm. Fudge. I have to take all these out. How are you gonna get those out? They're like jammed in. I'm gonna have to like cut them. Yeah, that's way better. Take two. Take two. Cut twice, measure once. Okay, now that you've lived on the wild side, do you want to try it now? It'll work. You sure? Positive. Yeah, it looks like a better shape now. Less <laughs> rectangly. Perfect. Yeah. We have relocated for a few days. We're pulling in some, uh, we're requesting some help. We, uh, we've called in the reinforcements. We've headed down to my parents' house. My dad, who is super handy and loves a good project, is going to be helping me for the next few days. Chris is here for the day, but then heading back to work. My brother and his partner should be pulling in sometime later this afternoon as well to get their hands dirty and maybe some painting. Yeah, so hopefully, like even with me working during the day, you guys will be able to all work together and get a ton done on here, so. I'm super excited to involve my family in this project. We will introduce you to everybody as they come out to do some work for us. Right. Right. So, oh, there he is. Hi. How's it going? You gotta introduce Dad. Yeah, this oh. is Ian. Hi, guys. Nicole's dad. Ian's gonna be here for a few days showing us his expertise. He's the uh, the lead contractor. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, have we negotiated my hourly rate? Yeah, no hourly rate. <laughs> Zero. <Great>. So, <laughs> So we're doing the garage space now. It's gonna, the walls of the garage are gonna have half inch plywood. And the nice thing about that is that we can just mount everything right to it. So all of our electricals will be mounted on this side. The hard part is that now we have all these wires we need to feed through this piece of plywood that we've cut. So we get to do a bunch of hole saws. So let me miss that guy. So Chris is back at work, but he left us a few nice little notes on the van here so that we know exactly what we are doing today. So it's just gonna be my dad, myself, my brother and his partner are gonna come out a little bit later, and then my mom's gonna come and help us a bit later as well. It's gonna be a full day. We are hoping to get all of the walls up. We're going to start with the sliding door side wall. Um, we think that's gonna be the easier side because we actually still have to go to Home Depot and buy one more piece of plywood to support the kitchen. All right, meet Emma and Taylor. Hi. This is your YouTube debut. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm hello. <laughs> My brother, Taylor, his lovely partner, Emma. They are going to be helping us out today, maybe tomorrow. We'll see how long we can keep them for. <laughs> Do you want to give us a 20 second, who are you? Uh, hi, I'm Taylor. I work in the film industry. I also work in the art department, so this is right up my alley. <laughs> I've been building film sets for the last two or three years and uh, decided that uh, my lovely partner here needed a job, so I dragged her into the film industry as well, and uh, this is uh, what we do for a living. Yeah, that's about it. I also work in the film industry. I also do art department stuff, so this is, this is not something that we are completely useless at which is nice <laughs> and emma wants to build a van one day so she's putting the hard good work practice. in good practice and they're avid campers so they're going you, you will see them on the road with us <laughs> all right we're gonna get you back to work <laughs> It's 9.30, we are super determined to get as much of the second wall done. The first wall is finally done, except for the littlest piece that is giving us so much issue that Chris and I are gonna work on it at home because it's just gonna take a little bit more work and cutting and stuff. How one removes 
nails with Taylor's force. <laughs> She's gonna go through the other side of the van one time and I'm just out the window. Right by. I'm bracing for her. All right. Go. <laughs> is, is that is that how you say goodbye? Goodbye. Oh, oh, <laughs> Bye. See you tomorrow. Early. Taylor looks like he's in pain. Good morning. Today we are going to be finishing the walls. Uh, we're going to put a fresh coat of paint on them and make everything white because we have a few white ones that we worked on and then a lot of the unfinished ones so we just have to give them a quick coat of white paint. Let that dry and then we're going to start rooting the floor. We are putting heated floorboards in so we just have to root some cabling wiring into the subfloor so that we can get the wires from the, where they're going to lay all the way back to our electrical paneling back here. So Chris isn't here with us today, so we're putting the heating mats down and then we're going to do the floor after that. But what we have to do is we have to get a line with the router so we can put these lines in so the flooring can go over really smooth and it doesn't have a ripple or anything like that. So we're going to take the router along this black line. We're going to come all the way along here. We're going to join the two heating mats together and then we're going to join it up to one of these electrical cables. And Chris has told me which one. So we're going to join it in the floor. We'll have to make a slightly bigger hole to hold the, uh, the butt end joints. And then we're going to have the cable come up here and we're good to go with the heating mats. Walls are done. Our little skunk stripes are going to disappear. We didn't, we weren't able to use as much of the whiteboard, um, like the pine that I had already painted as we wanted to, but that's okay. They are in, they are done, and now it's time to paint. My brother lent me this super cool jumpsuit, um, cause I don't have any paint clothes at my parents' house. Uh, so that's great. So we're gonna get to work on the paint and hopefully it is done tonight. And then tomorrow, the floor goes in. <laughs> Right when it's wrong, I've stayed here too long But something brings me back to you I swear we belong, I'm still hanging on But something brings me back to you So we're starting to lay the floor when you get oh. to meet the last team or member of our crew. This is Kelly. This is my mother. She's come out to help lay the floor and we know Ian. Ian's been here all week. You want me to explain what we're doing now? Sure. Okay, so we painted all the walls and the ceiling. We sanded it this morning, ready for the second coat, and we're trying to get the flooring done before Nicole has to go back. So what we did was we routed for the electrical and for the heating pads. So we're ready to go on that, and the heating pads are down there. So we're gonna put that down the groove, we're gonna tape that down, but we're doing the basic layout right now. So the layout has to start here because we're gonna put a piece of trim over here because this is where we're gonna walk. So we want a full piece here all the time. Then we're gonna go that way. So we're gonna come in here and do the layout here, and we're gonna get going. All right, let's get to work. Let's go. I keep hearing something in the wind. I keep coming back to you, my friend. Think I'm feeling something new again. Never going back, just take my hand.
start I keep hearing something in the wind I keep coming back to you, my friend Think I'm feeling something new again Three and a quarter Never going back, just take a bite Last cut of flooring, how does it feel? Oh. How do you feel? We're good. Oh. Oh, man. Good night. I think it looks great. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice great. floor. Good job, Dad. Good job, thank you. We're done. We're done. We're what done. did you think of the build? It's awesome. I think, you take a look at this floor. This is amazing. You know, it only took us like a couple hours longer than we thought, but it fits. And we've got it, and it's a great floating floor. It's gonna work awesome. All right, so now we are heading home, back to progress to finish a few more things, a few more days of work. Trim. But we will see you tomorrow. Nicole brought the van back last night and they did an unbelievable job. Check it out. Now that it's all cleared out from last night, but. That amount of work probably would have taken us like two weeks with just working evenings and weekends. So we've got all the nice plywood there for the garages or for the garage. And then we've got all the nice wood up on the ceiling and the walls. So what I'm going to do now is just do a little bit of um, little things. Like I remembered I still needed to run a extra wire here for, an, for one of these switches. And then I'm going to try to see if I can finish some of these little trim pieces that are um, open there. And uh, yeah. Our next goal after all this next week will be to start on with the uh, cabinets up on top and stuff and then once the cabinets are in or at least framed we'll be able to start doing the bed and then start putting some more structure and you'll see the the framing for the kitchen counter and then the seats and stuff and once we have the framing in it'll actually be able to kind of get an idea of where what everything's going to look like so this looks amazing huge change from like earlier in the week when we just were scraping away the spray foam so feels good and uh and great job to ian nicole taylor emma and everyone at and kelly down in uh oakville like they did an amazing job time to get to work and get some of these little tedious pieces done now i've put in a few of these little trim pieces the wire and everything that was missing now it's getting a little late so probably gonna call it a night and we're trying to avoid having too many uh late nights now that we're free of deadlines but uh, what I'm going to do is just measure this section. That way I can get an idea of how much space I have for all the electrical components. And then I'm going to draw it out on the floor and side and lay everything out so we can figure out where stuff's going to go. Once we have an idea of where everything goes, then we'll mount it all on here and then clean up some of this wiring and stuff that's in here. But it's getting late. It's a little dark. You can probably see, barely see me on the video. We'll see you tomorrow. Got a painting, buddy. Hi! Or no, better yet, I'm I the gained painting, painting buddy. buddy. I'm the painting buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're uh, gonna finish up some of the painting now. We need to do a little bit of sanding and then we're gonna do another coat of white paint. And I am going to work on painting the garage space a nice gray color. Chris's favorite color. My favorite color, that way it hides all the dirt. And it's the end of the week, so we're trying to get it all done and then we can start doing some of the fun, even more fun stuff. This, so, this was fun. This you was just, fun, you yeah. went to work this week. I know, I missed it all. <laughs> so, but cabinets, cabinets will start making the place look good. So. Next week. Yeah. Don't Next get too, week. don't get too ahead of yourself. <laughs> All right, let's get tanned. So, yep, sanding. this week we have had the most productive week i think we've had to date and i'm super happy with how the van looks and i did less work than i've ever done on the van <laughs> bed, so. and, i am and it shows <laughs> so. so chris is fired and my dad and my brother are hired <laughs> so dad we need you to come up here and finish yeah he, the van. sounds like he actually wants to even come back up and help out so he's welcome <laughs> So if you enjoyed following along on this week's build, please give us a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed already to our channel, it helps us out so much to continue to grow our community. So we would really appreciate if you could subscribe. 
Do you have anything else to add? No, I think that's good. Leave a comment down below and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye guys. See ya. Bye.